No Just Cause 3 multiplayer, Final Fantasy VII and Little Big Planet, Tony Hawk hoverboards, and today is queued up. I'm Dodger, and this is the Daily Bite, your bite sized news for all things nerdy. It has been a roller coaster of emotion when it comes to the future of Just Cause 3. Because first, people were excited about the game screens being leaked, and then people were really upset that there might be microtransactions, and then people were happy again because the developers confirmed that Just Cause would be a full retail game. And now, it's time for the unhappy bit again, apparently, as it was revealed that Just Cause 3 at launch will not feature a multiplayer mode. Now, while multiplayer for Just Cause 2 was a fan add-on, it was just such a huge hit that many people expected Avalanche Studios to consider the additional mode a no-brainer. But alas, in the upcoming issue of Game Informer, it was revealed that Avalanche was not going to have a multiplayer. However, in their interviews, Avalanche did hint at the potential of a post-launch patch to allow multiplayer thanks to a new cloud gaming service from Square called Shinmo Technologies. Avalanche's senior vice president of business, Jacob Navok, went on to say, What we see in the near future are cloud games that are developed from the ground up, as well as games that are in all existing pipelines and we will enhance them, says Navok. For example, taking a game that doesn't have multiplayer right now and easily giving it multiplayer is what we imagine for enhancements. Game Informer also noted that there were a couple of people working at Avalanche who worked on Shinra Technologies. So while there isn't an official stance yet, Things are looking pretty good for a potential Just Cause 3 multiplayer. Maybe. Man, Little Big Planet is one of those games where if you're pretty clever, you can make some interesting stuff. Over the years, people have made analog calculators, hard drives, and all sorts of cool inventions. But what about other video games? That'd be pretty cool, right? Oh man, what if someone did a Little Big Planet version of Final Fantasy VII? Like seriously, the whole game. Well, someone did do that and has just finished their masterwork this month. Little Big Planet artisan Jamie Colliver started the project in 2012 and spoke with Eurogamer about his accomplishment, saying, I have managed to fit the entire story and side missions into 31 levels. I believe it's the first full game remade start to finish in Little Big Planet's creator. I already have a battle system with limit breaks in place, every cutscene and dialogue, all five materia types, including creatinators, all of the soundtrack, every character, boss, enemies, and a world map. Colliver has an entire run-through up on his YouTube page, and you can check it out in the link below and cry all over again as Sackboy Cloud holds the corpse of Sackboy Eris. Okay, now this isn't another special effects hoverboard viral marketing video. This is an actual hoverboard viral marketing video. The company Hendo has developed a system that actually levitates a board, and the video has Tony Hawk riding it. So. There's no clickbait here, really. The video shows Mr. Hawk riding the specially designed board, which hovers over a magnetic field over copper flooring. And while the effect is a board that actually floats above the ground, you aren't going to be seeing Tony busting any McTwists on it anytime soon. The problem is, since the board has very little friction in any direction, the board mostly just spins, making it completely impossible to control. In fact, in the video, pretty much the only person who could ride the contraption was Tony Hawk, who pretty much just spun faster and faster until he fell off. But don't let that stop you from contributing to their Kickstarter. They had asked for 250000 And as of now, the project has 26 days remaining and has so far raised over 455000 Personally, however, I am going to hold on to my dollar bills until we get hover bikes. Today for Queued Up, in honor of Dragon Age Inquisition, which is awesome by the way, you should go to the keep and refresh yourself on all the Dragon Age lore so that you're not all confused about blights and fades and wardens and stuff. Ensure your Thetis is exactly as you left it, only maybe this time you're a dwarf and your hawk was sassy. You can do that. That's been your Daily Bite, I'm Dodger. Like, favorite, subscribe, do all of the socials, and we will see you again tomorrow. Bye bye